All right, here we are, as threatened, decluttering. Maybe I started with Doug stuff. Ooh. I'm really struggling with getting the right lighting in, like from the bedroom window coming on and glaring on my glasses. It's not the best studio quality, I'll tell you, to stand in your closet and shoot a video. It's weird, actually. It's kind of like inviting everybody into your great ear, like master <laughs> bedroom closet. It's just very weird. And yeah, my glasses just glare no matter what I turn. If I pull the shade, then it's too dark. If I open the shade, it's like all this on my glasses. So I'm gonna try it this way. And this is what you get when you join Amy on this channel. Back to the decluttering. So the last video, Doug goes, I thought you were going to do a video on decluttering. And instead it was mostly interviewing him. And I'm like, okay, well, I'll start then. This is the first thing I pull out. Like, look at these shirts. These are Douglas's shirts. Do you see, actually, I'm not showing you this side that has like dust on the shoulders of these shirts. Okay, so the last time that he wore these, I guess I wouldn't be able to know. I wouldn't be able to guess <laughs> because he doesn't, like he puts them on and he doesn't like them. The last time that Doug wore one of these dress shirts, Stone said, Dad, that is just way too big for you. It was, it was, it's too wide and too bulky and everything. So, um, I'm thinking this might be the first place to start, but while we're talking about, let, let's have a conversation about <clears throat> how things used to be. We used to attend a church that it was an, I mean, we're talking when we, when we were younger, everybody wore a shirt and a tie and dress pants all the time when they attended. And that was the norm. It certainly was, was um, you always did to funerals and weddings and special occasions. It's just not really the thing anymore. And I have a cat that just really wants to come up. So my, my son's cats, I'm just gonna shut the door. It's distracting to me. It's probably not distracting to you, but it's distracting to me. But anyway, okay, so things change over the years. And I think part of, part of like, as I met, was helping my mom and my stepdad clean out their house. I think that's part of what's really hard about getting rid of stuff is, well, well, it used to be like this. It used to be that when we owned a sofa, I mean, we owned it for 35 years and we were very blessed to be able to afford a sofa. In the case of dress shirts, it might be, well, this is what we always used to do. Remember when we always did that? Well, we can remember it without Keeping, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shirts that are not worn. They just simply aren't worn. And you know why? It's because he always ends up, oh, number one is he does not like shirts that don't button down. Well, why would we even own any shirts that don't button on the collar? So we have to work out through some of these things. Sometimes you have to have someone help you do it also. Um, help you take the plunge of getting rid of stuff. Now, let's have a talk with myself. All right, so I usually have gone through my closet by this time. It's the end of March. I just got across my phone that we are in a blizzard warning for tomorrow, which is March 31st. So we had a blizzard at the beginning of March and now we'll be having one at the end of March. And that old saying about coming in like a lamb, leaving like a lion, it's supposed to be the opposite, isn't gonna be true for us. It is just a saying. It's what's gonna happen is gonna happen. But I was hoping to like get rid of the heavy turtlenecks, the heavy, but it was 12 below yesterday. So I will be hanging on to my heavy, sweaters in my closet for a while yet but what i also wanted to add is if you 
um, what I have taught in the past is a working closet. Let's work toward a working closet. We need to keep the things that we use, that we wear, in this case, wear, um, things that aren't wore out, pilly, holes in them, grease stains, whatever it might be, we have enough choices, at least in our closet, which obviously isn't huge compared to what I've seen in a lot of people's homes or their master closets. And I'm thankful because you know what? If we had, if we had a huge closet, that would be full too. I've learned this because the great saying is, oh, it has such great storage in that house. Oh, look at all the closets. Look at the cupboards. Look at the built-in cabinet. Look at the, you know, every single one of those has a very large potential of oops, being full of stuff. So thankfully, our closet really isn't that large. Otherwise, um, a larger one, I, I, I can almost guarantee you would be full, fuller. So anyway, where am I going with this? Okay, I would like to see you and I just get on a regular schedule of going through the things and being honest with yourself and talking through, looking at the things, touch all the items. Have I worn this this season? Uh, will I wear it? If you haven't, honestly, in the season that we or you are just currently in, for us it's winter, you probably won't next year either. So this is my pep, my husband up practice chat like okay bye bye dress shirts we're only gonna keep the ones that you wear which are likely the color black because that's your favorite which is good and fine so anyway thanks for joining me on this uh declutter doug's dress shirt segment <laughs> we'll see you later